Welcome to the DLZ project and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the carburetor. For this job you're going to need a socket wrench, a 10mm socket, a Phillips screwdriver, a pair of pliers, a cup of tea, preferably a full one. First of all you need to take the tank off. So there is a video I've done on how to take the tank off. This is a more detailed video which will show you each individual step but I'm just going to leave the camera running and just take the tank off so if you need some more detail go to that video the link will be in the description Cool. ok now you need to pop this side panel off as you can see we're on the right hand side of the bike now and to get in here, so I can show you. So this is the throttle cable, so I'm turning the throttle now. Let's turn in, in there. Next job is to remove, I'm not doing it, I'm just showing you, these cables that are seated. See it runs up there. And this one here, which runs along here and then up there. Here we are. I hope you've got a good view of, um, of the throttle body and the bolt run doing there. You need to use the 10mm spanner, which I didn't mention at the start because, as with these things, so many little parts. Sometimes you can't remember everything. I'm only human. Just because I'm going to have to move the camera down to show you the next bit, I'm going to undo this bolt. Just this nut, sorry. Sorry if I've been calling that a bolt. Not a bolt, it's a nut. And undo this one. And then angle the camera down so I can show you the next stage. And now I'll angle the camera down so you can see what I'm looking at. These are what we've just been undoing. So we've unhooked it from this little body here. And now, you can use your finger, but I'm just using the screwdriver because it gets me out of the way. Just unhook these out. I'm going to have to use my hand. That will just pop out, he says. There we go. So now that's free. I'm just going to tuck that out of the way there just to get it out of the way for you to see the next one. Bring it all the way around the corner. Pop it to the side. Remember which one's which. So just, I don't know, tuck this one over here somewhere. And there we go. Now we're popping around to the other side. Okay, so you're now looking at the carburetor. This is the carburetor here. Um, the fuel tank sits here and comes down here. Um, but you've just seen me take that off. This is the, uh, the fuel line, the fuel hose, which goes into the carburetor where the um, fuel and air is mixed as you may or may or not may or may or not know and goes through into the cylinder to be ignited so because you've just taken this off the fuel tank um, there will be a little bit of fuel left in the line so just kind of grab a hold of it get some garage rag and just pour it out you do get drips of petrol doing this job you can't avoid it especially when you take the carburetor out and apart but now you've got that um, that fuel drained a little bit. Uh, the next thing to do is take hold of this wire here and follow it up and undo this clip. There we go. And just there's a few different wires. Find all the ones attached. This is the next one in line for me. Just leave them seated over here. I can't remember exactly how many there are, there might be one more, but um, we'll unclip that when we come to it. It's not, not game breaking. Okay, so you want to take your Phillips head screwdriver now, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So we're looking at this part here now. There's a screw which is um, on this Jubilee clip here and you just want to get the 
get the screwdriver up in there, undo that Jubilee clip. For me, I find it easier to just take it all the way out. It's kind of like a bendy metal, so you can just pull it out. Bendy metal there. Okay, just make sure we can see the next bit on the camera. It's another Jubilee clip. Oh, yeah, just to the right here. You can see it. So take that one off next. So now we're going to be actually taking the carburetor um, out of the main frame of the bike now. So this airbox rubbery thing here, I can't remember exactly what it's called, I'm going to pull it out of the way. It's a bit tough but it needs to get out of the way so that you can fully pull the, um, pull the carb out. There is a little this little pulley tab on the uh, underside of it. It's going to try and get a grip of it there. There it is. Just try and just try and get that out of the way like that. Okay. And now this is takes so quite a lot of wiggling and trying to get a good angle, but it can be done. Just try not to, um, not to really, really tug. Just ease and wiggle, and then it will, um, it will slide out. And there's a few more hoses that you just need to pop off now. So is it still in focus? Let's just refocus it. There we go. That one there. Just kind of bring that one down to the side. Just a quick side note, um, if the bike has been running, which I assume it will have, will have been, the, um, at some point in the last few months, there will still be petrol in the carb, so it will leak out. I don't know, it's all just leaked out of mine, I didn't know, I forgot to mention it. But just kind of make sure you've um, got something down on the floor if, you don't, if you're working in the garage or something, or um, you've just got some garage rag to hand because it does leak out yeah mine's all just leaked out as soon as I took it out it's all on the floor but yeah it will leak out that's not abnormal 